Hello there and welcome to this tutorial and today is about loading your Tecla structures library with components or structures you commonly use or frequently requested by your clients. So instead of going back and forth and doing exactly the same thing is actually tiresome and uh, it retards your productivity. If you take a look on the screen here you can see I have a water tank tower. This is a 16 meter high water tank tower. So I've identified that most of them, most of the time it's, it is being requested. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to convert this into a simple macro and uh, load it under applications and component here uh, and uh, as, my, as my library here. So if you find yourself in a similar situation where a particular structure is being requested and the, the measurements and, uh, and the measurements and uh, the design is almost the same, what you do, just uh, convert, uh, convert it into a simple macro and load it under applications and component to be part of your library. So in my situation, maybe someone requests frequently a, 60, a, a 6, 8, 10, 12 meters or 15 meter high water tank tower. What I'm going to do, uh, I'll design all of them and model all of them and convert them into a simple macro and load them under applications and component as part of my library. So whenever one is requested, I'll be able just to pull it and bring it into, into my grid line and generate drawings immediately. So it simplifies your work. So this is how you can improve your productivity in a design office. So let's convert this. Let me show you briefly how we convert this. So, uh, uh, and I've done this several times, so it, sh it shouldn't be a very hard thing to do. So let me just come to navigate and a view. So let me ro rotate this like this. So if I select everything here, you'll be able to see all these components are, are, are individually selected. So let me do this. I'm going to convert this into a simple macro and load it into my applications and components. So whenever I need it, I just pull it. So I'll do the same thing to a 6 meter high, 8 meter high, 10 meter high, 12 and 15 and 16 to all the way to 20. So whenever I need one of them, I just pull and generate drawings in 5 or 10 minutes instead of doing this repeatedly whenever a request has been placed. So we'll get started. Once you have your model ready in place, and remember this model, you can access it on, your, on, uh, on Civil Max site. You can you can just go there and come to detailed uh, uh, project 3d models and come to water tank tower so inside here if you need that model I'm, I'm, I'm just directing you if you may be interested in this particular model you just select on that or any of that and come all the way and try and check how it looks and this is how it looks you just click that arrow. I, I, I tried to render the, this in a different software so that it, it have that uh, a, a reality look or scroll and you can see a drawing have there. But this is just a preview of what we have inside, but it has everything inside. All the single parts of the GA drawings are available. Now let me just close this. Then let's continue from here. and and. Let me come to navigate and uh, rotate with mouse and I want to rotate this. So once you, you have your model in place, just right click on, uh, on, uh, on this sections or uh, on this section of ap applications and component and come to just right click and come to new group right there and just type custom component right there. Custom component custom component component right there so go ahead and click okay we already have this inside there so the next step will jump that step and come to this button here access advanced features so I'll click on that then come to define components I'll come here and define this as part as a part and uh, give it a name water tank water tank with a tank tower tower and I'll give it maybe 003 right there so I'll go ahead and click OK or unclick next 
So the moment I click next, I'll, I'll be able to read. I'll be able to read the information right here in the model. Select parts that will will form the custom component. I select everything here. I select everything here. So in, in this particular case, let me just terminate this process because we want to use, we want to retain our original model without messing out, without tampering with it. So let me just select everything here first, right click and come to copy. And I want to copy our original model from that spot and bring it somewhere here. Let me bring it somewhere there. So once I've, I've placed it right there, and we, now we are going to work with this one. So let me just right click and redraw and come to navigate and try to rotate this. So this is the model we are going to work with. We retain the original. So I'll select everything. I'll come to applications and component, right click and come to new group. Remember, um, we we already have a definition of custom component so we don't need that uh, again do we we don't need to do it once again so we'll come to advanced advanced uh, access advanced features here and click define custom component and i'll come here and pick part and give it a name here uh, water tank water tank tower tower maybe 003 right there. So I'll go ahead and click OK. So if you take a look on the bo uh, on, on this small dialog box here, you can see in the model, select objects that will form the part, will form the component, uh, will, will, will form the custom component. I select everything here. Then I'll go ahead and click OK. Not OK, next. So at the bottom end here, I want to define two points that I'll use to place my i'll use to place my component or this particular object so let me just uh, snap on that spot i snap on this particular end here let me just snap on that on that spot right there so once i've, I've defined the positions where i I'll, I'll use to place my component or my structure on a particular position i'll go ahead and click finish so the moment i click finish and uh, if you come back to applications and component dialog box here and scroll down, you'll be able to see we have we have it here, this one here, already. So w uh, I did this pre uh, previously, so I just thought to share it with you. We have all the tank 003 that we've just done. Now, this way, it's a default thumbnail that 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 appears here. So we want a, a thumbnail that will help you. Uh, identify uh, the p the particular structure or component you need to, to 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 use. So what I'm going to do, I'm going just to right click or use the same image, use the same image. Let's try and use the same image, or we can just or we can just create a new one. So let me just click on empty screen to deselect that. So I'm going to pick on this. I'm going to pick on this one, or or use these two. Let me just uh, dr uh, bring them up slightly. Right click and redraw just to refresh everything. Let me just bring it closely to this to this far end. And now I'm, I'll come to view and come to screenshot and pick and pick the screenshot. Now maintain always check print to file and uh, render view option main, uh, maintain w uh, white background and click apply and accept that. So. We want to create a screenshot or a thumbnail for this. So always drag it to a position that will be able to see everything clearly. Let me just close this. So I want to create a screenshot. So I'll come here and pick view and I want to select or, def or uh, frame out a window that uh, will capture the image that I would like to see when I'm looking for that particular macro or simple macro. So I'll leave it right there, then click capture that. So once that has been captured, you can go ahead and close this. So we'll track this thumbnail inside this folder, Water Tank Tower 005. So where do I get it? I'll get it. I'll track it right there, and I'll go straight to. I'll go to. I'll go to files. I'll go to Tecla Structures Models. I'll double click that. Then I'll scroll down to. 
water tank tower it's it's far end, it's the far end here water tank tower right there i'll come to screenshots that right there and pick this one i'll pick this one just double click on it to open it so i have this i'll come to crop and i want to crop this to that and uh, just leave it like that go ahead and save it so once i've saved it i'll give it a name i just give it wt2 right there and click ok save it so i'll close this once i've closed this i'll close everything fast here so i'll come here and uh, right click on this on this uh on this particular uh, component then come to uh, thumbnail right here and add thumbnail so I'll come to WT2 and select on that and click OK so I'll check the previous one and click close so we have this one here so whenever I want to apply this or uh, so I have this as my library I have this uh, in my library this is a 16 meter high tower water tank tower so I'll do the same next time I'll do the same thing for 6 meter for 8 meter 10 meter 12 meter 16 meter all the way to, to 20 meter so whenever this has uh, uh, whenever a request ha has been placed for this particular tower of this point of this particular height is is needed i'll just go ahead into my library and pull it in and bring it into my grid line here and then generate drawings right away this is how you, you improve your productivity and you don't do the same thing repeatedly it's, it's actually tiresome and uh, you really pointed out as an idler and you, you you waste a lot of time in a design office which is not right now i'll select on this and come all the way to this uh, to this point i'll snap on that spot and snap on that spot and give it some time to load everything so here we are we have our component in place so if i right click and uh, if i right click and uh, click interrupt to terminate that command I'll right click once again and redraw. So if we come up here, you can see we have all, uh, we have all our components or our parts in place. You can see that our platform is well designed and looks nice. So here we are. And this is how you can do it. And this is how simple you can make it much simpler. So let me come to navigate and try to rotate this once again. Come to regional and try to rotate this. Perfect. Now you can also just, once you've done that, you can close. And uh, le let's... Uh, quickly take a walk on inside this uh, double click on the screen on the screen and come to auto mode uh, auto mode then come to perspective click modify apply and give it an okay so i'll just turn this closely i'll just turn this up just bring it up somewhere there or somewhere here so i'll come to fly and try to walk down let me just walk down we just check the, the connections we have a connection right there a splice connection we have bracings in place we have all these bracings in place and if you come up here we have a bracing at the middle here you can see that L let's come up or, or go down you can see our platform here where we where the tank is uh, normally placed and it's well braced and we have a ladder all the way at, at this end here we have a ladder here just bring it close we have a ladder right there so if you you've done this model and convert it into a simple macro and add it as uh, as a as a component into your um, into your library and uh, applications and component it it makes your work simpler and uh, you actually save a lot of time doing repeated work that normally people do and uh, is a total, total time wastage and let me just come here and we walk all the way to the other end and we can see everything is actually matching you can see a, a gasset plate here 
and you can see another bolt at the center there and we have our cage ladder in this place all the way you can just come up perfect and that's how it looks and that's how simple it you can make your work easier so you just press escape and we terminate that fly uh, mode now thanks a lot for watching this uh, video and if and if this is your first time to and this and if this is your first video to bump into in this channel please don't forget to subscribe and stay safe bye bye i'm Morris Nimba.